Hey Geeks, so the day is finally here. I got the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. Now, I've been waiting to get this for a long time and I could have ordered it online, but I wanted the Sam's Club version and even online, this was constantly either out of stock or unavailable, so I just had to wait and then just one day, I went into Sam's Club and I saw it. And the reason why I want the Sam's Club version is because this one, actually has the pinball accessories on the side, the buttons on the side, so I didn't have to purchase that separately. So now I have it and let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so as you can see, this is a pretty large box. So if you do have somebody that could help you bring this in, then I would highly recommend that. And I'm gonna open this up by laying it on the side. So excited. Wow, so this is packaged pretty well. Okay, so here is your joysticks and buttons. Awesome. All right, here's the screen. And then this one is the heaviest part. This is gonna be the entire cabinet itself. All right, so here's what we have outside of the box. And so I really gotta applaud Ad Games for really having great packaging. And at the same time, there's really not too many components besides whatever is in here, which I'm pretty sure is where the majority of parts are gonna be. But if you can, I would recommend that you keep the box just in case you need to take it apart and then move it somewhere else. Okay, so let's now open this up, which is where the majority of the things are going to be. Okay. So there is everything. Here's the instruction manual, which I'm definitely going to go through. There is an app games catalog and a coupon. And here's the rest of the stuff. It's got all your screws and everything, the board. Everything has letters on it. So I think Hopefully this is going to be an easy process, but from everything I've seen, this is a fairly easy install process. Wow, check that out. <laughs> I like it that this already has it on there for you. I think previous versions, you actually had to do this yourself or maybe uh, push it in as a tab. So this is nice that they already have this. Let's see what else. And here's your all important screws so you're definitely going to have to have uh, some type of screwdriver uh, to make sure you can put all of this in there uh, okay then there's i don't know what this is yet these right here everything has letters thankfully here's the other side nice wow okay there's another one right there. This looks like this is the base. And in a lot of ways, I'm kind of glad I got them this later because they've been able to make improvements and revisions to this. So yeah, this is probably the bath. Another box. And that's it. Okay, so I went through the instructions and it looks like a fairly simple process. So if you can install IKEA furniture, then you'll be able to do this. And just to show you, What's in these other boxes? This is gonna be your power supply and there's also some other things that you can use as well to help this from tipping over, but you're gonna to have to drill some holes in your wall. So I'm not gonna be using this, but this is basically for the power supply and other things to connect to your board. And then over here is those uh, extra Sam's Club pinball buttons that I was talking about. It's gonna go on the side of the cabinet. And then the screws that I showed you earlier, they're all really nicely labeled so you know exactly which one to use and you can follow this on the instruction guide. So let's go ahead and put this together.
Okay, so this part right here was actually the hardest because whenever I put this on top, even though it fit right in the holes, you have to line this up almost perfectly so that it drops in. So that took a while and I pretty much almost uh, you know stripped all these screws. So be careful whenever you're putting that on and just basically be patient whenever you're putting this top portion on. And this is why I bought the Sam's Club version for the pinball games and on the side. So we're gonna put this on the side and finish this up. Now, the funny thing is when I tried to use this, you're supposed to put this before it, but I could not get the thing to screw. So I'm not sure if this is meant for this. Maybe it's made for another, you know, at game stuff, but I tried to put this in like this and then put the screw, but then so basically I had to screw it in without it. So. That's what I had to do for this cabinet. Okay, so here's the last part. Basically gonna plug this in. There's also an ethernet port as well, which is great. We're gonna plug this in and plug it in the wall, but they also give you this as well. So this basically allows you to anchor this to a wall and this keeps it from tipping over, but I'm not gonna do that because you definitely could have to drill holes in your wall, but that is an optional thing that they provide. So let's go ahead and plug this in and get it started. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Let's turn on the power button. The marquee came on. App games came on. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh yeah, Legends Ultimate. I'm just super excited. Oh wow, there it is. Next page. Oh man. Okay, so oh. please sign up. Okay. So they want you to sign up with Legends ID. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do that. But right now, wow, there it is. Oh man, let me just start up a game because I am, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> let me see, there's like 300 games here. So that is great. It already comes with a lot of games. Wow, let, let me see. <laughs> and a lot of these games I've definitely played before as a kid, but some of these I've never ever seen before. Wow, this is so sweet. Okay, let's... Well, I'm, I, I wanna start one up, but uh, I'm just looking through these. Let's go ahead and just start this because I have no idea what this is. See how this sounds and looks. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a volume button here. All your USB ports are here. USB, yep, HDMI, this is crazy. Iron Commander, I've never played this before. So that's not common for me, oh yeah, it is. So this is a beat em up. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The controls are great. <laughs> So now that I've gone over my initial excitement of the Legends Ultimate Arcade, let's go over what makes this so ultimate for a lot of people out there. Let's start off with the games that are built in. There's a little over 300 games on this and this could change over time, but I think that is a great selection of game, especially if you compare it versus something like a one-up arcade, which typically comes with one game, a few games, or even a dozen games. And I think the selection of arcade games here, it is pretty good. You know, you got arcade games, you have some console games, and then you have some that are more indie games. And so whatever's built in, I think for most people, it's gonna keep them busy. And I think a lot of people will be happy with what's here. But there's other things that the Legends Ultimate provides. It provides this thing called ArcadeNet. 
And to access these other features, you do have to sign up. You know, you have to connect to the internet, but this is an option. You can actually, you know, play their arcade games online. There is a lobby. And then there's other things like BYOG, bring your own games. So there's add-on, add-on X, cloud BYOG, local streaming. There is a lot of options here. And then App Store X, you could actually get more things here. Now I'm not connected to the internet and typically if you are, you're gonna see other icons here as well. And this is where the biggest selling point is. So this BYOG really translates to this App Store X, which you can download, install CoinOps X and then you get that set up. And that is the main reason why I got the Legends Ultimate is because I could actually bring my own games. And in this case, this makes this the ultimate arcade machine. So let's go ahead and take a look at that a little bit further. And here is CoinUp X. This is the best thing about the Legends Ultimate Arcade. And I really don't see why anyone uh, wouldn't want to set this up unless you just don't want to spend the time to do it. There's many tutorials out there to show you how to do it. But I think for a lot of people who are buying this, there are probably gonna be more people like myself who actually got this because of the ability to add their own games. And wow, just with CoinUps X alone, um, I got more than a thousand plus games. It's like 1,905 games, which is insane. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I grew up on these arcade games. And so a lot of these, you know, they're like really nostalgic memories of my childhood. But since there's so many games on here, there are a lot of games that I've honestly never played before in my life. And CoinOps X does a great job of categorizing this, you know, where you could kind of go to the type of games that you want. And I would say most of the games, they run really well, you know, but for more modern and newer games, if you decide to add those games, it's probably not gonna work the best. But I would say like 95% of all the games you have no problems playing this. And once you start them up, sometimes there is a little bit of lag and so you just kind of have to be patient. Uh, but once it loads up, you know, you're able to play the game and just like you would in the arcades, it has a lot of great uh, designs, the marquees are there, uh, the graphics, everything here is just top notch. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of lag, you know, so it still has the preview sounds going to the game. But once it loads up, it's all good. And one thing I really love about this CoinOps X is they really provided a lot of things that you would expect from a professional type software, you know? And so uh, hats off to the entire CoinOps team and everybody else who was involved, you know, the emulation and the many, many thousands of hours, years of work uh, that has you know culminated to what we have here today. So uh, the emulation community is just amazing and once you get into a game It's just seamless and I Absolutely love this. It's still unbelievable to me that We're able to do this and the fact that this is a really great arcade cabinet um, I, I can't say enough about it, you know, and this is probably going to be the closest I'm going to get to actually, you know, having a true arcade machine. And obviously there's many options out there. You could, you could pay more, you know, you could try to do it yourself, you know, and there's a lot of things you could do. And there's definitely more expensive options out there. You know, there's like some extreme mega arcade machines that are like in the thousands of dollars. And maybe eventually if I have the money, I'll get something like that. But I think right now, the Legends Ultimate is simply the best out there, you know. And I think for the vast majority of people, whether they are just, you know, uh, just your average consumer or whether they're somebody like myself who is, you know, loves arcade machines, you know, loves this whole arcade feel, then it's going to really satisfy a lot of people, especially at this price point. You know, I think it's well worth it. And it's only going to get more expensive over time. So right now, at the time of this video, uh, with tax and everything, I got this for a little over $600, you know, so about $630. Um, and originally when it came out, I think it's around $500. But that, I think, is a really good price for such an amazing arcade video game machine that gives you so much. And it continually keeps getting better. There's still firmware updates and the entire 
emulation community, you know, Legends Ultimate Arcade community, they're doing a lot to really make this better and better. And so hopefully, you know, that continues for the long run, you know, and if they do upgrade this, which I'm pretty sure they will, I really do hope that it'll be easy to upgrade. Basically, I just have to buy a new unit or just buy another board, you know, that would be great. So then I don't have to buy this whole thing all over again. So if you had any thoughts on the Legends Ultimate Arcade or any other arcade machines that you enjoy, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my retro game reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below.